Chris Pico is a Philly psalm with a talent for a turn of phrase and casual vulgarity. Eating ice cream in the dark thought it would be a good idea to record a horizontal tasting of the finest Asian soft drinks 2012 has to offer. Herbal tea made from prime herbal ingredients. Score. Last one. All right, I are a beverage professional, correct? What title do you prefer? I'm like a waiter, but with liquids. <laughs> Call him a sommelier. How long have you been doing this? A couple of years. You've also had some experience with the, uh, the Asian soft drinks before? I have some enthusiasm. Let's start with the Pennywort drink. It smells like, uh, like two days after you mowed the lawn. And okay. you let the, let the grass, like, and you left the grass, like, piled up. So decaying plant matter is basically what you're getting on the nose. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of decaying plant matter on the nose. Shouldn't we be doing this in a wine glass? You want to do it in a wine it's glass? It'll look more it. obnoxious. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. Better. Now okay. we're cooking with gas. So we've got Luzana brand, Gabano drink. Kind of an off-white, slightly dried semen color going on there. Um, I don't know if you find that entirely appetizing. It smells kind of like... Stinky pineapple. A pineapple with body odor. Yeah, I recommend the guy at Bottom Juice. Now we got Long Low Cat, made from prime herbal ingredients. You get that licorice spice in the back. You get some fruitiness, you get that chrysanthemum, so it'll cool you down on a hot day. Chrysanthemum will actually lower your body temperature. Let's move on to the uh, pearl soybean drink. Those little tapioca balls have been in there a while. They're not a choking hazard. This is an agar jelly drink with banana aroma. And they do refer to it as a drink, which I think is fucking awesome. Get out of there, you little fuckers. Oh, yeah. It smells intriguingly musty. A little bit more of that sort of like dried herb, hay field, springtime kind of funk to it. Let's try the banana one. But since I'm such a sucker for bananas, I kind of love it. I feel like I get the like the banana chemical flavoring, like coating my tongue. It's also super sweet and like, I feel like my breath smells like bananas now in like a wonderful way. Like I'm gonna go talk to the ladies. They're gonna totally. <laughs> They're gonna dig your banana breath? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna smell like candy. After having the banana, the regular grass jelly just doesn't, doesn't size up. I just love bananas so much. I, just can't, I can't say no to it. I mean, it's just a Freudian thing. I need those things in my mouth. I don't know. Don't explain the joke to our audience, Chris. They're smart. They can get it. <laughs> um, basil seed. Basil seed. We'll, fin we'll finish out the round of chunky drinks. Oh, yeah. I see those furry little shits floating in there. No, they, the basil seeds. Do you know what they are? I'd assume they're basil seeds. Okay. Was they... they <laughs> Ingredients, water, basil seed, cane sugar, honey, and banana flavor added. Nice. I didn't know they did it like that. The biggest thing about this one for me is that you want to chew those little buggers. They got that little slick skin on them. Yeah. So you can't really chew them. They get, they get away from you. It's like you just got to swallow them down. It's almost a little creepy. Um, I find this one frustrating to no end. See if I can grab, I got one here, I'm sure I can get on my tooth. I can't. Most ups 
upsetting texturally. Yeah, I wouldn't drink it when I was feeling delicate. Let's go for some shit. I love the white gourd drink. Oh, yeah. Funny thing about white gourd drink, it's not white. It is a pale amber. Is that actually just a little bit of turbidity that will bubble to the surface? Is that all that is? I hope so. Like all white gourd drinks that I've encountered, it smells so much like graham crackers that it makes me wonder if graham crackers are made from white gourds. That was my first thought whenever, when I had my first uh, glass of white gourd juice. Was that, holy shit, is that what they make graham crackers from? Um, I don't believe it is. You would never know it. Like, this doesn't just smell kind of like graham crackers. Like, it smells toasty like a graham cracker. Like... If you put this under my nose and I couldn't tell what was under there, you'd, I would just guess it was graham crackers. I wouldn't even know it was a drink. And it tastes like you put fucking graham crackers in a juicer. It's splendid. I would recommend these so highly to anybody who enjoys graham crackers. I wish we had some graham crackers. I would like to... I would like to dip a graham cracker in this. <laughs> that wouldn't be too much graham cracker. There's not such a thing. Yeah, and I, I, I wonder if the graham... I don't think it would make the graham cracker taste any different. I think if you dipped a graham cracker in here and ate it, it would taste just like, <laughs> a, just like a wet graham cracker. And it wouldn't change the taste at all. Why would you want to eat a wet graham cracker is the question. I, cause just, I, for, just for I really, curiosity's sake, I suppose. Uh, well, because I really like them and this is like more graham. It might taste more like a graham cracker <laughs> than any graham cracker you've ever had. Um, ooh, what I want to do is boil this down. I want to make a white gore juice reduction and drizzle it over graham crackers. What's stopping you? Um, the fact that I had that, I only thought of it right now is stopping me. It smells toasty, like it came out of the oven, like it's a fucking caramelized baked good. It's fantastic. White gourd juice is such a, such a clear winner in the field. It's got, it's got everything. It, it's got the novelty. It's super weird and exotic, and at the same time, it just tastes so down home good with that graham cracker thing. Gives you that you know, familiar feeling from being a kid. It's fantastic. Let's try some chrysanthemum tea drink. This one is a beautiful burnished gold. A little bubble cling to the surface. Smells like chrysanthemums, shockingly enough. That's where I can almost smell how much sugar is in there. Hmm. This is a little bit like if the pennywort drink didn't suck. I think ice cold on a summer day, it would be delightful. Not as delightful as white gourd drink, but pretty delightful nonetheless. Now let's see. It's, ooh! Pomelo olive juice. I'm a big pomelo fan. You know who's an olive fan? Cato Cam. Pomelos are awesome. It's like a grapefruit, but each little pith is like its own. Mm. And it's quite pleasant. Perfumey nose on it. On the citrus. Mmm. Actually got some acid to it when you drink it. It's delicious. Alright, sum things up. Find yourself some motherfucking white gourd drink. You will thank me. It is exotic yet familiar. And it tastes like drinking graham crackers, which is a wonderful thing.